Preview. Preview. Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always happy and healthy. On this video, I would like to tell you about passive voice. Let's check it out. Passive voice in simple present and in simple past. Before we discuss about passive voice, you have to be familiar with the verb 1, verb 2, and verb 3. I'll give you some examples. Eat, ate, eaten. Eat as the verb 1, ate is the verb 2, and eaten as the verb 3. Read, 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 and so on. So, it is important for you to know all of, all of them and practice. You can search on Google and then memorize it. It is very important. Okay? Now, how to make passive voice in simple present? Simple present. Simple present basically means uh, if you want to talk about something that happened daily, as your daily activity or as your habit, usually we use simple present. For example, I eat a pizza every day. Rina visits Japan every year. Jedi always buys many books. Dina drinks milk every morning. Okay, now, how to make pa passive in simple present? For example, Rina visits Japan every year. And then how to change it in the passive? Japan is visited by Rina every year. Okay, did you see the difference? Okay, let's make it clear. Rina as a subject in simple present in the first sentence, visit as the verb one, Japan as an object. And every year, this one is just telling the time. Okay, is it, it is still the same, right? Over here. Japan in here as a subject is as to be visited verb 3 by Rina as an object. So did you notice the position? Yes, the position. Rina over here in the first sentence as a subject, but in passive it becomes an object. And Japan in here as an object, it becomes subject, right? So remember the position. At first, you have to find out the position and then change it. Which one is the object? And then, oh, this is the object, Japan. And then put Japan at the beginning as subject. And then add to be. Mister, what is to be? I don't know. Okay, to be. Actually, in simple present. Remember, in simple present, we have R, M, and is. So, R, M, and is for simple present. And then after that, add the verb 3 and the object. The object is the subject from the first sentence, right? Easy. Mm. And then one more thing. I will tell you the secret. The real meaning. Okay, I'll, t I'll tell you in Bahasa. Rina visits Japan every year. In Bahasa is Rina Mengunjung, mengunjungi Jepang setiap tahun but in passive the meaning is different Jepang dikunjungi Rina dikunjungi oleh Rina setiap tahun see the meaning is different in here mengunjungi in here dikunjungi so you have to find you have to understand the meaning as well and the most important one, remember the helpers. For simple present, we have R, M, and S. Okay, let's practice. JD always buys many books. Okay, remember the position. Mm, which one is the object? Many books. That's right. And then remember after that, to be and verb 3, right? What is the to be? R. Always bought. Why in here using R, the to be? Because books more than one. 
remember you have to you have to know about the subject is it only one or two or three if it is more than one usually we use are all okay are always but by jd okay jd as a subject here we change as a, as an object next dina drinks milk every morning Milk is drunk by Dina every morning. The same. I eat a pizza every day. A pizza is eaten by me every day. But in here, by me, we can reduce it. Okay? But both sentences are acceptable. You can use the first sentence or the second sentence. It is acceptable they are all correct they build new houses every year new houses are built every year see super simple you just need to find out which one is the object and then change it become subject add to be use for three and that's it Next, we will continue with past tense. Passive voice in simple past. Simple past. We use simple past if we want to talk about something that already happened. Example, mom made a cake last night. A mechanic repaired her bike yesterday. Da Vinci painted Mona Lisa long ago. They drank all the cola last night. They cleaned the class. Now how to make passive in simple past? Example, my mom made a cake last night. A cake was made by my mom last night. Basically, the same simple present and simple past. Okay, there is... Subject, verb to, and object. And then the same, but the position. See? My mom, in the first sentence as a subject, becomes object. And then the objects, the object becomes subject here. So analyze which one is the subject. And which one is the object? If you want to change a sentence, becomes passive. The difference is only for the to be. In simple past, we have was and were. Do you still remember in present? What do we have? Are, am, is. Aramis. But in simple past, we have was and were. Okay? But for the rule is the same. We change the position. Subject becomes object. Object becomes subject. And then after that, after you find the object, change it into subject. And then add the to be. And then use for three. And then add the object. Okay, let's practice. A mechanic repaired her bike yesterday. Which one is the object? Which one? Her bike, that's correct. Her bike. What is it to be? Was repaired. Okay, was repaired for three by a mechanic yesterday. Okay, Da Vinci painted Mona Lisa long ago. Which one is the object? Mona Lisa, right? Mona Lisa was painted by Da Vinci long ago. Dave drank all the cola last night. Which one is the object? All the cola. All the cola was drunk by Dave last night. They cleaned the classes. The classes were cleaned by them. 
Why in here using were, mister? See the subject in here, classes, more than one. So we use were. And why by them is blue? Because we can take it, we can omit it. Okay? We can use by them or without by them. Both are acceptable. Okay, I hope it's clear enough. If you're still confused, watch the video over and over again. Okay, thank you. That's all. I hope you can understand it. Stay at home, stay safe, and stay healthy. Bye-bye, everyone. I'll see you soon at school.